This is part 2 episode 122. Rat, you are seeking death. The two elders finally recovered after Chen Xian had been hit so hard by Xiao Yang that he spit out blood and flew backwards. They cried out furiously as their bodies moved. After which, they appeared behind Chen Xian. Both of them extended their hands and forcefully received Chen Xian. Kill this bastard. I want him to suffer a fate worse than death. Chen Xian's feminine face was covered in a ferocious look after having been received by the two of them. That palm from Xiao Yang had really caused him to lose all of his face, causing him to crazily roar out a command. The two elders looked at each other when they heard his command. However, only one of them stepped forward. The frightening speed which Xiao Yang had displayed earlier caused even the two of them to be afraid. If Xiao Yang were to slip away again, it was likely that Chen Xian would find it hard to stay alive. At that time, the two of them would suffer an extremely harsh punishment from the sect. A punishment worse than death. This brat is not an ordinary person. Although the strength on his surface is only that of a four-star dozong, he is extremely troublesome to deal with. Ua. The old man, who had slowly stepped forward, glanced at Xiao Yang a short distance away. He sighed again in his heart, feeling somewhat regretful. After all, if anything happened to Chen Xian, then... You have offended the junior sect leader. This is equivalent to having offended the profound Xian sect. The old man's expression was dark as he stared at Xiao Yang and spoke in a solemn voice. It is better for you to say these words to your junior sect leader. All this while, it is he who has been offending people, Xiao Yang smiled and replied in a faint voice. The old man was dull, and he felt speechless. Xiao Yang's words were full of truth. Xiao Yang and Chen Xian did not have a major conflict. However, Chen Xian had quietly stabbed at Xiao Yang due to some displeasure in his heart. Chen Xian, who was a short distance away, cried out in ferocious tone of voice while the old man was hesitating. His hatred for Xiao Yang could already be described as monstrous. The old man could only softly sigh upon hearing Chen Xian's cry. He clenched his hand and a large five-foot-long blade appeared. Immediately, the edge of the blade was pointed at Xiao Yang. His toes pressed on the ground, and his body appeared, just like a bird as he pounced towards Xiao Yang like lightning. The large blade in his hand appeared to possess a mountain-splitting strength as it tore through the air. A ten-foot-large blade glow was formed on the tip of the blade. After which, the man ruthlessly hacked it downwards. Xiao Yang's expression did not change as he watched the old man's sharp attack. A silver glow flashed under his feet, and his body shook. After which, he disappeared in a strange manner as a thunderous roar appeared. Bang! The enormous blade cut through the air and arrived. It ruthlessly smashed against the empty ground, causing the entire hill to shake. A large crevice spread from the point where the blade landed on the ground. It extended to the middle part of the hill. Only then did it slowly come to a stop. Everyone gently inhaled a breath of cool air when they witnessed the powerful destructive force of the old man. They hurriedly withdrew even further. It was very easy for them to be implicated in a battle at this level. The old man knit his brows after his blade missed. Xiao Yang's speed really left him with a great headache. His eyes swiftly looked to where Chen Xian was, but he did not see any activity there. Come out. The old man's stern eyes swept around as a chill flashed across his eyes. The large blade in his hand suddenly and ruthlessly hacked at the space on his left. Clang. An enormous, black ruler suddenly appeared when the blade cut through the space, blocking it in the process. Xiao Yang's figure was revealed at the same time. Xiao Yang flicked his wrist and the heavy ruler trickily avoided the cold, large blade. His body rotated a little and the heavy ruler in his hand was swung by him. The heavy ruler carried an unusually powerful, hot wind as it swung toward the old man's head. The heavy ruler whistled down. However, just when it was about to collide with the large blade, it suddenly paused in a strange manner. At this instant, Xiao Yang's other hand swiftly formed a series of dazzling seals. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change First Change Xiao Yang coldly cried out in his heart. The surging Dou Qi within his body immediately soared. With Xiao Yang's current understanding of the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, he had basically reached a stage where he could use it as he desired. The surge of his Dou Qi was silent. It was undoubtedly much stronger when compared to before too. The soaring of the Dou Qi within Xiao Yang's body also caused his aura to rise at this moment. 
the strength contained in the heavy ruler also swiftly rose as well. Finally, it violently collided with the bright, large blade in front of the stunned eyes of the old man. Clang! An earth-shaking sound resonated over the hill. Immediately, a frightening wind swept out in a circular shape whistling like a storm with the two of them being the focal point. It forced all of the surrounding people to move back in a miserable manner. Crack! A slight sound suddenly appeared within the storm. The expression of the old man drastically changed at this moment. His narrowed eyes had caught a slight crack, as it suddenly appeared on the large blade. How did this brat's strength soar so quickly? The expression of the old man had become much uglier when he sensed the pressure that was being transmitted to his hand. Did this brat try to act weak to eat the strong right from the start? Bang! While this thought was lingering in the old man's heart, the strength being transmitted from the heavy ruler suddenly erupted once again. Under this terrifying wind, even he was shaken to the point where his feet had to step back. Xiao Yang's face suddenly turned dark and cold after having forced back this old man with the surname Bai. He did not hesitate as his toes pressed against the ground. After which, he turned into a wild storm that swept toward Chen Xian a short distance away. You are seeking death. Upon seeing that Xiao Yang dared to charge over, the other elder, who was protecting Chen Xian, revealed a sunken expression as he let out a furious cry. However, his cry had just sounded when a silver-colored human figure appeared in front of him before he could stop Xiao Yang from charging over. This figure was like a human-shaped tank as it charged at the elder, bringing along an extremely fierce wind. The silver-colored human figure that suddenly appeared surprised this elder of the profound Xian sect. He could sense that the silver-colored figure was not much weaker than him. While he was surprised, the silver-colored figure reached him. Its metal fist was swung, creating a hurricane that pestered this elder of the profound Xian sect. Chen Xian's ferocious face had finally changed a little after seeing this elder be held back. His feet pressed on the ground, and his body moved back. He was aware that Xiao Yang was targeting him. Although Chen Xian had a good awareness of the situation, how could his speed compare to Xiao Yang? Moreover, Xiao Yang had even used the first change of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Hence, after Chen Xian had just taken his second step, the space in front of him suddenly distorted. Immediately, a figure slowly appeared in front of him. The figure's young face was currently covered in a killing intent that caused his entire body to feel a chill. Do you think that I can't kill you just because there's someone protecting you? Mysterious fire blade. A ferociousness had also surged up Chen Xian's face at this moment. His hand trembled, and it formed into the shape of a blade. After which, it was ruthlessly hacked at Xiao Yang's head. With the wave of his hand, the fire knife formed by hot, fire red Dou Qi also moved. At the same time, a searing hot, sharp wind tore a dark black crack in space itself. No matter what the case was, Chen Xian was also an expert with a strength that was similar to Xiao Yang. This attack had been unleashed during his all out retaliation was quite powerful. The cold expression on Xiao Yang's face became even denser in the face of Chen Xian's fierce and violent retaliation. Xiao Yang's hand curled into a claw shape as a jade green flame surged out. It immediately transformed into a flame glove that wrapped around Xiao Yang's hands. Not the slightest ripple appeared on Xiao Yang's face after the flame agglomerated into a fire glove. After which, he ruthlessly threw a punch. This punch heavily collided with the fire blade of Chen Xian in front of numerous gazes. Bang! The fist and palm collided as a high temperature wind swept away at this moment. Some of the large rocks started to crack, and some even exploded into a countless number of stone fragments with a bang. The collision of the fist and palm caused Chen Xian's expression to swiftly pale. On the other hand, Xiao Yang's expression remained the same. It did not change even a little while dealing with Chen Xian's fierce retaliation. Get lost. The sharp wind on the fire blade swiftly weakened after making contact with the glazed lotus heart flame. A moment later, it showed signs of crumbling. A chill flashed across Xiao Yang's dark black eyes at this moment. At the same time, a cold cry exploded from the tip of his tongue like thunder across the clear sky. This cry spread out like a wave. Along with this cry came a majestic force that caused Chen Xian's expression to fill with horror. A terrifying force surged out of Xiao Yang's palm like flood water. The defenses of the Dou Qi within Chen Xian's body fell apart under this force. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out from his mouth with a grug sound. Xiao Yang, 
who had used the first change of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, could fight with a 7 or even 8 star elite dozome. However, it would be a little bit of a stretch for him to deal with a 9 star dozome. The reason the old man with the surname Bai had been forced back by Xiao Yang with one strike was mostly due to Xiao Yang's own strength. After that exchange earlier, Xiao Yang was aware that the old man with the surname Bai had just advanced to the ninth star. Otherwise, it would have been impossible for him to have been forced back with just one ruler strike. Even though Xiao Yang had used the first change of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, it would still be impossible for him to injure a nine star dozome. Unfortunately, Chen Xian had not reached this level. The strength he was proud of was not even worth mentioning in Xiao Yang's eyes. Numerous gazes on the hill looked at Chen Xian, who appeared extremely miserable after having collapsed in the pile of dust. All of them quietly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Their gazes turned to Xiao Yang with additional fear. The vicious attacks of Xiao Yang terrified them. Song Qing and Cao Ying's gazes also paused on the miserable looking Chen Xian. The expressions of the two were different. The expression of Song Qing was gloomy. He had a slight friendship with Chen Xian. Xiao Yang's public treatment of Chen Xian had naturally caused his face to appear a little ugly. That which, Cao Ying, on the other hand, seemed to be very interested in this kind of fight between men. Her enchanting eyes leaped with excitement. From the looks of it, she seemed to want the two of them to charge forward and fight to the death. Rat, you have gone overboard. At this moment, that old man with the surname Bai, who had been shaken by Xiao Yang until his aura had become sluggish, finally recovered his strength. He looked at the seriously injured Chen Xian, and his expression changed. With a furious roar, his body transformed into lightning as he rushed towards Xiao Yang with a sharp wind full of killing intent. Brat, you dare. Xiao Yang's actions were also discovered by that old man with the surname Bai, and he gave chase. Xiao Yang acted as though he did not hear the howl. He already intended to kill Chen Xian. This person would take revenge for all grievances. Back then, they merely had a small conflict at the alchemist trade fair, but this person had gone and investigated Xiao Yang. After which, he had sold this information to the members of the Hall of Souls, resulting in Xiao Yang nearly being killed. If Xian Kong Zi had not suddenly intervened that night, it was likely that Xiao Yang would have had no other choice but to use the extermination fire lotus. The elite Do Zun experts were still extremely powerful existences to the current him. Before he refined the third type of heavenly flame, Xiao Yang understood that he did not have many fighting techniques he could use against an elite Do Zun. After all, the gap in strength between the classes was really too great. Chen Xian had caused Xiao Yang to nearly lose his life. This matter was naturally not something that Xiao Yang could simply let go with a smile. From a certain point of view, Xiao Yang was a person who would take revenge for all grievances he had suffered. Any favor must be returned, and any animosity must be repaid. The viciousness in Chen Xian's eyes was immediately replaced by panic when he saw Xiao Yang rushing at him with killing intent. With his current condition, he would not even be able to last one exchange against Xiao Yang. The current Xiao Yang only needed to gently move his finger, and it would be enough to cause him, the junior sect leader of the Profound Xian sect, to lose his life here. Xiao Yang, if you dare kill me, the Profound Xian sect will definitely not let you off. When you are reincarnated in your next life, you should think about the consequences of any evil thoughts. A ferocious expression flashed across the corner of Xiao Yang's mouth as he looked at the terror on Chen Xian's face. The heavy ruler in his hand did not hesitate, as it carried the deafening sound of rushing wind and violently smashed toward Chen Xian's head with a bang. Xiao Yang's attack was completely merciless. Clearly, he intended to take Chen Xian's life with this ruler strike. Chen Xian looked at the jade green fire ruler that was magnifying within his eyes. His face was already without color. Stop. A cry suddenly exploded beside Xiao Yang's ear like thunder while the heavy ruler was swung. Xiao Yang knit his eyebrows upon hearing this cry. However, he continued to ignore it. Instead, the speed his heavy ruler fell increased. Mysterious mud fire shield. The person who had cried out earlier also appeared to be aware that words were useless against Xiao Yang. Hence, he could not resist intervening after yelling out. The ground in front of Chen Xian suddenly trembled at this moment. Immediately, a bang sounded and the soil surged out like water in a flood. The surprising thing was that the soil was mixed with a deep yellow flame. 
The soil surged and immediately formed an extremely tough shield in front of Chen Xian. A strange, deep yellow flame lingered on the shield. Bang! The soil shield had just been formed when the heavy ruler suddenly fell. It heavily landed on the shield. A low, deep explosion suddenly sounded. One could see the soil shield violently shake when the heavy ruler fell. Sand shot out in all directions. However, this soil shield had slowed Xiao Yang's attack. Xiao Yang's expression slightly sank, as he sensed the slight sluggishness of his heavy ruler when it penetrated the soil shield. He knew that whoever had intervened was not intending to block his attack, but had been planning to buy some precious time for that old man with the surname Bai. It was just as Xiao Yang had expected. While his ruler was slowing, a majestic Dou Qi rushed behind him in an instant. Moreover, it was aimed at the back of his heart. Clearly, if he really insisted on killing Chen Xian, the person behind him definitely take his life. Xiao Yang narrowed his eyes at this split second. His falling ruler suddenly shook. A hidden force suddenly penetrated the soil shield and heavily struck Chen Xian's lower abdomen. The body of Chen Xian stiffened, when this hidden force struck his lower abdomen, Xiao Yang did not have the time to check if the hidden force had caused Chen Xian. The heavy ruler in his hand reflexively swung backwards in a violent manner. It immediately collided with the vast, mighty palm wind of the old man Bai, who was furiously pouncing over. Bang! The heavy ruler collided with the palm wind, and a muffled sound immediately appeared. The fierce wind swept apart like a storm. Xiao Yang's toes pressed against empty air as his body swiftly withdrew. At the same time, his feet took a couple of continuous steps through the air. Each time his foot landed, space itself would tremble. This continued for a couple of steps before Xiao Yang forcefully stabilized his body. This furious attack by the old man with the surname Bai was powerful. If this attack had landed on Xiao Yang's defenseless back, it probably would have gave him a serious injury. Xiao Yang's feet stepped on empty air before he stabilized his body. His eyes was clearly a little gloomy as they landed on Song Qing, because the person who had suddenly stopped Xiao Yang from killing Chen Xian was him. Song Qing did not show much fear when he saw Xiao Yang's dark, solemn eyes looking over. With his position in the pill tower, there was no need for him to be afraid of Xiao Yang. He immediately said in a deep voice, Xiao Yang, brother Chen, has currently joined this temporary alliance of ours. You should not attempt to kill him. Currently, everyone's strength is the capital for us to defeat the fierce beast in the 10,000 medicinal mountain range. Is this action of yours an attempt to stop us from passing this election? This Song Qing was quite a vicious person. His words had already placed Xiao Yang in a position that opposed the many alchemists present. However, how great of an effect his words could achieve was unknown. Based on what you have said, only he is allowed to kill me. Xiao Yang laughed upon hearing this. Song Qing slightly knit his brows and said with a faint voice, Brother Chen is merely getting someone to capture you. Isn't the fact that you are still fine prove my point? Your ability to alter the truth is indeed a talent. Chen Xian personally said that he wants me to suffer a fate worse than death. Don't tell me that those present did not hear his words. Xiao Yang smiled. He glanced at Song Qing and lazily said, You should also forget about saying all this nonsense. The people here are not fools. No one will be listened to your words. If you are really displeased, you can just attack. I will receive you. Song Qing was dull. His eyes swept around him, and he did see the alchemists idly standing to the side. None of them revealed any enmity to Xiao Yang because of Song Qing's words. All of these old cunning fellows, Song Qing was helpless in his heart when he saw this. Who could participate in the pill gathering and be an ordinary person? It was not an easy task to provoke them into becoming enemies with others. The ability of an alchemist does not lie in fighting and killing. If you really have the ability, I will wait for you at the pill gathering. Song Qing would naturally not submit in public. His eyes looked at Xiao Yang while he coldly laughed. Perhaps he was no match for Xiao Yang when it came to fighting strength. However, he was very confident when it came to pill refinement. At that time, he would let Xiao Yang know that the nonsense five great clan test champion was worthless in his eyes. Bastard, you have shattered the junior sect leader's veins. This probing immediately caused a fury to flash across their eyes. They raised their heads and glared at Xiao Yang like ferocious lions as they roared out. The veins were the most important channeling path for any Dou Qi practitioner. If any problem occurred to them, it could easily result in one becoming a trash that could not practice Dou Qi. 
Although there were some high-tier medicinal pills that could repair one's veins, they depended on how serious the injury was. Currently, the veins within Chen Xian's body had been completely shattered by Xiao Yang's attack from earlier. The chance of fully recovering from such a serious injury was extremely dim. Once he lost the support of Dou Qi, Chen Xian would become a useless person. Song Qing's expression also changed slightly when he heard the roar of the old man. He did not expect Xiao Yang to attack so ruthlessly. Becoming a useless person was likely even more difficult for Chen Xian to endure compared to being killed. Xiao Yang in the air remained expressionless. He did not show the slightest sign of being affected by this. Chen Xian had repeatedly wanted to kill him. If he didn't own many different techniques, it was likely that he would have already become an ice-cold corpse. Since Chen Xian was unable to kill him, Chen Xian should learn some of the consequences that he needed to deal with when he felt the desire to kill. Things have already become like this and no one can restore the situation. The breaking of veins is not completely without any cure. You can perhaps ask for help from the pill tower after this is over. They might be able to cure him. Cao Ying finally stepped forward with gentle footsteps while everyone was silent. Her crisp, soft voice caused one to feel the impulse of being smitten. The two elders from the profound Xian sect gradually calmed down when they heard Cao Ying opened her mouth. With the strength of the two of them, they were unable to stop Xiao Yang, who had the help of the earth demon puppet. Currently, they needed to find all means available to heal Chen Xian. Otherwise, the two of them would suffer the fury of the profound Xian sect leader when they returned. Regardless of what has happened, the most important thing right now is to obtain the items that we have been tasked to find and pass this selection. Cao Ying's pretty eyes paused on the skinny figure in the sky before she sweetly smiled. She said, May I know if Mr. Xiao Yang is interested? If everyone is together, we will be more confident in defeating that fierce beast. The expression of Song Qing by the side changed when he heard Cao Ying open her mouth to invite Xiao Yang. He softly said, Currently, Xiao Yang has offended the profound Xian sect. If we invite him, it is likely that we will offend Chen Xian's group. Cao Ying faintly smiled. She ignored Song Qing's words as her pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yang. Xiao Yang's eyes swept over the lovely body of this enchanting beauty. However, he shook his head and said, Thank you for the invitation Miss Cao Ying. However, I am used to roaming around alone, and I do not like to form groups. Therefore, I am sorry. Xiao Yang's body had just moved after his voice sounded when he sensed an unusual gaze sweeping over his body. Under this sweeping gaze, the paws all over Xiao Yang's body felt an impulse to flee. This change caused Xiao Yang's heart to abruptly tremble. His eyes swept around the area below without leaving a trace, but he managed to gain nothing from it, this pill gathering is indeed a place filled with hidden experts. It is unexpected that there is such a powerful existence. Xiao Yang's heart involuntarily sank, when he sensed the great strength of this mysterious, black-clothed person. With this fellow around, it would not be easy for him to snatch away the champion spot. While Xiao Yang was absent-minded because of the unusual, black-clothed man, Cao Ying below had raised her eyebrows because of his rejection. She grit her teeth. This fellow seemed to never give her any face. Song Qing by the side sighed in relief at this moment. He hurriedly said, forget it. Ying Er, since he doesn't know what is good for him, you should also not use your good intentions to meet his cold self. When he ends up suffering a loss, he will naturally come and beg us to cooperate. Cao Ying involuntarily curled her mouth after hearing Song Qing's words. From the abilities Xiao Yang had displayed earlier, there was hardly anyone present who could surpass him. He might really be able to confidently obtain the task items by himself. The matter today shall end here. Goodbye. Xiao Yang ignored the conversation between the two. His eyes took a deep look at the mysterious, black-clothed man. After which, he cupped his hands toward Cao Ying's group before turning around and leaving. Due to the black-clothed man, he did not wish to stay in this place for long, because he sensed a faint uneasiness from that person. This kind of feeling was extremely, vague, but it was just like a thorn that hung over Xiao Yang's heart. This caused him to involuntarily become more cautious. Xiao Yang waved his hand after his words sounded, and he returned the earth demon puppet to his storage ring. After which, he rushed toward the 10,000 medicinal mountain range. Rat, do you wish to simply leave after injuring someone? That two elders from the profound Xian sect immediately became furious upon seeing Xiao Yang turn to leave. They rose to the sky together and rushed toward Xiao Yang with killing auras all over their bodies. Xiao Yang ignored these two profound Xian sex elders, who had descended into fury. A silver glow flashed under his feet. After which, a thunderous roar resounded over the hill. All one could see was a couple of afterimages in the sky. Xiao Yang's figure instantly disappeared from the gazes of everyone on the hill. The two elders from the profound Xian sect leaped in fury 
as they saw Xiao Yang disappeared within the blink of an eye. They continued to utter various curses. That black-clothed man at the edge of the hill watched the spot Xiao Yang had disappeared to. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a strange smile. A soft mumble was quietly released, accompanied by a dark chillness. Xiao Yang, you won't be able to escape. After rushing into the mountain range, the first thing that Xiao Yang sensed was the dense energy within this mountain range. No wonder it was called 10,000 Medicinal Mountain Range. With the natural energy of this place, it was not abnormal for it to grow many natural treasures that were difficult to find in the outside world. The continuous roars of magical beasts could be heard across this mountain range. Perhaps it was because humans kept barging in recently, but the roars seemed to have contained additional violent killing intent. After being infected by the wild, violent seed within this place, these magical beasts were far fiercer than those in the outside world. Xiao Yang landed on a mountain top that appeared like a dagger. He knit his eyebrows as he swept his eyes all over the place. By relying on his exceptional spiritual perception, he could sense quite a number of unusually powerful auras in this mountain range. Among these auras, the most terrifying one was in the northeastern direction. Xiao Yang's eyes looked to the northeast. It was partially visible under the cover of the energy fog. He slightly frowned as he talked to himself in a soft voice, if I have guessed correctly, the aura in the northeastern direction should be the strongest within this mountain range. It should be the ultimate beast of the 10,000 medicinal mountain range that Song Qing had mentioned. A magical beast with half a foot into the eighth rank. Such an existence was exceptionally powerful. Even some elite dozuns would be somewhat humbled if they fought it. The fighting strength of a high-rank magical beast was quite terrifying. Moreover, a magical beast that could reach such a rank was definitely not an ordinary beast. It might even possess the bloodline of a fierce beast from ancient times. If this were the case, it would be many times more difficult to deal with. Magical beasts with the bloodline of a fierce beast from ancient times were similar to the strange clans of humans that had been passed down since ancient times in that they possessed certain unique qualities. Xiao Yang had deeply probed around during his journey here. Although he had seen quite a number of uncommon medicinal ingredients, he did not find one that truly attracted him. This outcome did not match the name of this 10,000 medicinal mountain range. Earlier, Song Qing mentioned that the fierce beast had taken the many precious treasures in this 10,000 medicinal mountain range into his cave. Now, all I can do is head over there and take a look, Xiao Yang's eyes looked to the northeastern area, as his face revealed an expression of deep thought. Since he had already entered this 10,000 medicinal mountain range, he would need to clearly probe it. After all, only this place possessed the items he had been tasked to find. This mountain peak stood in the middle of the 10,000 medicinal mountain range. Although Xiao Yang was some distance away, he was still shocked by the rich energy that seeped out of the mountain. If one were to train in such a place, one would definitely be able to obtain twice the effect with half the effort. Unfortunately, the energy of this place was mixed with a wild, violent seed. One needed to refine and remove this seed during absorption in order to successfully merge the energy into one's body. Of course, the richness of the energy in this place was not what had caused Xiao Yang's face to appear grave. Instead, he had sensed at least three auras on this mountain that had reached the rank 7 level, in other words, there were a total of three Dozone class magical beasts on this mountain. Moreover, other than these three fierce auras, Xiao Yang also sensed a concealed aura with a monstrous fierceness vaguely seeping down from the mountain. Clearly, the owner of this aura should be the leader of this mountain range, the ultimate fierce beast that Song Qing had spoken of. It is indeed very strong, moreover from the fierceness that is seeping out of its aura, it is clearly not a beast one should offend. Xiao Yang carefully withdrew his spiritual perception. He looked at the enormous mountain peak before musing for a moment. After which, his toes pressed onto the leaves, and his body quietly rushed into the mountains in a quiet fashion like a large bird. Xiao Yang suddenly sensed a vague probing aura sweep over his body while he was rushing into the mountains. His heart tensed. His spiritual strength hurriedly surged out and wrapped around his body. Xiao Yang was using his invisible spiritual strength to hide himself. The probing aura paused for a moment and returned to scan the area a couple of times before slowly leaving. Xiao Yang only sighed in relief within his heart when he sensed the probing aura become distant. His body immediately moved, and it shot like an arrow that had been released from the string of a bow. With a swoosh sound, he rushed into the forest and quietly leaped to the top of the mountain. After flying over the forest for a while, 
Xiao Yang was somewhat stunned to discover that there were no traces of other magical beasts. It was likely due to those powerful auras. It was not rare for a beast to occupy land and proclaim himself king within the magical beast world. Xiao Yang's speed was significantly increased, without the presence of other magical beasts blocking him. When he was just about to reach the middle of the mountain, his flashing figure suddenly paused. His body subsequently moved and appeared on a tree branch. After which, he shut his eyes and inhaled a deep breath of the serene fragrance that was slowly scattering in the air. This is, the scent of Pill Soul Serum. It is indeed Pill Soul Serum. The joy in Xiao Yang's eyes became even more intense upon seeing what it was. However, he did not recklessly charge out. He was aware that such a treasure would be guarded by a magical beast. Those who could seize territory and become king was definitely not be an ordinary character. If one was careless, it would be normal to fall in the most unexpected place. Xiao Yang's eyes carefully swept around after shifting away from the hole in the rock. A moment later, he was surprised to discover that there was not the slightest trace of any magical beast. Xiao Yang slightly knit his eyebrows. This matter was out of the ordinary. It was impossible for other magical beasts to completely ignore a treasure like Pill Soul Serum. It is definitely hiding here. Xiao Yang licked his mouth. He contemplated where it could be for a moment before he shifted his eyes. Suddenly, they paused on the lower part of the enormous rock. That spot was the source of the stream. It was a deep pool that was around a hundred feet in size. The pool was extremely deep. One was unable to see its bottom with just a glance. The pool was also extremely calm. There was not even the slightest ripple. Everything appeared extremely silent and peaceful. Xiao Yang's eyes narrowed as he looked at the deep pool. He was certain there was a magical beast hidden within that deep pool. However, the ability of this magical beast to conceal its aura was extremely great. He was unable to sense anything. However, the thing that he found troublesome to deal with was the fact that he was unaware of just what kind of magical beast it was. Hence, he was unable to find a solution at that moment. This place was essentially the base camp of the 10,000 medicinal mountain range magical beast. If any accident were to occur, he would not be able to endure the combined attacks of so many magical beasts, regardless of how strong he was, the scales are blue in color. The lines on it them are just like the shape of snakes. Occasionally, a tiger pattern is mixed within it. If I have guessed correctly, the magical beast protecting this pill soul serum should be an extremely rare water affinity magical beast, mysterious water tiger snake. Xiao Yang quietly sighed in relief in his heart after identifying the hidden magical beast. This magical beast might be fierce, but he had a way to deal with it, this fruit tree was called the water drunken cloud immortal tree. The fruit on top of it was called the water cloud fruit. There was an extremely dense water affinity energy within it. This fruit held a potent attraction to some water affinity magical beasts. Moreover, the energy within it was vast, mighty, causing the fruit to possess a special drunken liquid within it. The effect of this drunken liquid was fantastic. Even a tier 7 magical beast would become drunk and fall asleep after having swallowed it. Xiao Yang needed the drunken liquid within this water cloud fruit. In order to obtain the pill soul serum, I can only sacrifice this thing, Xiao Yang carefully buried the water drunken cloud immortal tree under the ground. Moreover, in order to achieve a lifelike look, he made sure the surrounding soil was the same. From a distance, it seemed as though this thing had been growing here the entire time. The spot where the tree was buried was some distance from the deep pool, because Xiao Yang was aware that the intelligence of a rank 7 magical beast was not weak. If such a treasure were to suddenly appear beside it, it would definitely stir its doubt. Although the distance was currently a little far, Xiao Yang was confident that the beast would be lured out. The allure of the water cloud fruit to a water affinity magical beast was something that Xiao Yang had witnessed once. After burying this water drunken cloud immortal tree, Xiao Yang's body moved and he leaped into an enormous tree. His body was hidden in lush, green branches. His gaze penetrated the gaps as he observed the calm deep pool from a distance. His aura was completely withdrawn at this moment. This patch of forest had also become unusually quiet following Xiao Yang's silence. However, the deep pool not show the slightest response, not even a ripple on the surface of the deep pool. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.